Hi, welcome to Mamas and Mannies. I'm your host, Trina. This is a short form podcast for mamas that are looking for a quick burst of me time. As usual, before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button and share this with another mama that's looking for some other or some different ways to organize her home. But before we get started, as always, we're going to start with a motivational quote. This week's motivational quote is from my Tuesday tea that I do each Tuesday morning on Facebook as well as Instagram. It says, forget about mistakes you've made in the past or time wasted being unhappy or fulfilled. And I put just live life. So forget about mistakes you've made in the past or time wasted being unhappy or unfulfilled. Just live life. So I think that one is more self-explanatory. I know a lot of times we end up doing this, I think just as human beings, no matter where you are, who you are, where you're from, we usually dwell on the past instead of thinking about what we have right now. What's going on good right now, what things are positive, and what we can change now. We definitely can't change the past. We can't change when we were unhappy, but we can actually make some steps and efforts to know that we have the ability to change what's going on right now. So just think about that one. Forget about mistakes you've made in the past or time wasted being unhappy or fulfilled or unfulfilled. So just make sure you're actually living right now where you're at. But guess what time it is? It's mama time. So this week's mama time is going to be a continuation of an episode I did a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago, I did a top five organizational hacks for moms. And I just want to go over um, five more. It's going to be six through ten. So another five, some organizational hacks that you can do around your house to streamline life, make sure things go a little bit easier, take some of the chaos, chaos, chaos out of your daily or weekly routines. If you did not catch the last episode with the top five organizational hacks, you can check out Mamas and Mannies. We are on Spotify. We have a Mamas and Mannies page on YouTube. You can find me on Mamas and Mannies on Spotify as well. Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts, but I think Google Podcasts changed to something else. I can't remember the name, but you can definitely catch that episode to get the top five organizational hats hacks. So number six is streamline meal planning. You can create your meals in advance. So I used to try to do meals like I, during the pandemic, I'm sure like a lot of mamas and a lot of other people, all you had time for, or you had so much ample time that you were looking at uh, virtual conferences, other, I forgot what they, I think the, um, she probably still has it, but uh, groups that I follow are different mamas that I follow. They used to have these virtual conferences. So I did a whole bunch of them in 2020 and 2021. And one mom recommended, or what she actually does is she does a monthly meal schedule and she basically takes a few grocery items, maybe like 10 or 20, and she'll plan all her meals out of that. You know, her breakfast and lunch may be the same, especially I think her kids were in school. So they probably have like the same thing every day for breakfast and lunch. But her dinners were kind of using the same ingredients, those top 10 or top 20 ingredients that she had. Well, that was too much. So then I went to meal delivery. Um, That was okay. It kind of changed. So I decided to stop doing that. I've mentioned that in several episodes before. What I did recently, probably about two or three months ago, I started watching Rachel Cruz just 
catching a few episodes here and there. She has a short form podcast as well. I can't think of, I think it's called the Rachel Cruz show. And she talked about meal planning and she's big on that kind of eating at home, decreasing the amount of times that you eat out. So what she did, she actually has a weekly meal planning sheet is something really easy. You can even make one yourself at the top. It has breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then it has items, uh, it has, I think, snack items. Then it has what items you already have in the pantry. And then you can also add on what items you may need for the week. But the whole goal is to grocery shop less. So if you do like maybe once a week, twice a month, or even once a month, if you're able to plan out that far in advance, So she has that and you kind of look at what you already have in your pantry and your fridge and freezer and plan your meals according to that. So I actually started doing that. That is very helpful. I also check out the Budget Bites website. They have great recipes with several different categories like under $10, vegan, vegetarian, uh, frugal meals. So that's also a good combination to kind of put with that streamlined meal planning. Number seven on the list is establish a cleaning routine. I feel like I talked about this one time before, but this one goes into a little bit more detail and it's saying break down household cleaning tasks into different sections. So I follow and I read, I think both of her books, Clean Mama, she has an Instagram page. She basically breaks down your house to the T. She breaks it down. She has weekly things that she recommends doing. I think she has monthly tasks and quarterly tasks. So you can follow that. She has that in one of her books. It tells you how to break down everything. She also does a really great job of um cleaning recipes. If you are like a DIY, want to make a lot of cleaning products by hand or just at home, like if your child has allergies or any other irritations to the skin, great recipes for that also. But that really helps to, especially if you have people helping out with the cleaning chores, that helps. So they'll know Mondays is for bathrooms, Tuesdays for floor. Wednesdays is for the kitchen. I can't remember what the days were, but that really helps to get everyone on the same page. So you, it's embedded in everyone in the household. On Mondays, we clean bathrooms. So everybody's gonna clean their bathroom whenever they get a chance to. Number eight is embrace digital tools. So you can, and I don't use any apps to do anything digital. So I would love to get your feedback on that. Like if you use a chore tracker app with your kids or even for yourself, so you can keep track of what you did. If you do um, Instacart or any other like grocery delivery or where you can go pick up stuff, if you're using that, let us know. Um, I talked about maybe on the last episode, but I know I've talked about it in the past how I use Instacart and some other grocery pickup and delivery options, but that's great too. Number nine is to delegate responsibilities. And I know I've talked about this before. Share your household responsibilities with your kids and your partner. That way everything doesn't fall on you. Of course, it's gonna be age appropriate. If you have a two year old, she can't, they can't do that much, but they definitely can pick up their toys. So that's something you want to take um, in consideration. If you have older kids, they can definitely help with the bathroom. Everyone can help with putting their plates up and clearing the table off after dinner is done. If you have a dishwasher, it's even easier. Everybody can load their own dishes into the dishwasher. And then, you know, maybe you and your partner take turns cooking and cleaning. What we do is a person that cooked Usually um, the other person helps to clean up the kitchen or usually cleans up the kitchen and puts up the food. So those are, that is definitely a great tip to share responsibility with other family members and people that live in your house. The 10th and final organizational hack for mamas 
to help ease their weekly routine and daily routine is to practice the one in one out rule. This is brilliant. I didn't realize I was practicing this rule in my house. I think last year I went on a adventure voyage journey to declutter my house. Um, I started with my closet and then I went to my uh, dresser drawers, just getting rid of stuff that I did not need. I actually did not buy much stuff, but what I did, I purged the house. And then I went from room to room. I went in our bathrooms. If we had like extra little stuff that I've decorated with in the past, I got rid of that. So this is something I definitely practice with my kids. We did it for Christmas. Um, I had them donate a few toys that they don't play with that much just to make sure that they aren't just getting a whole bunch of toys and not playing with what they actually have. So they donated a few toys that they don't use to make room for new toys. <laughs> I'm laughing because what they actually did was what they tried to do if something was old, they were like, okay, we're going to get rid of, they had like a little play, they have a play kitchen. They were like, we're going to get rid of this old play kitchen so we can get a new play kitchen. And I was like, no, it don't, it does not work like that. Or that's not how I want it to work right now. I wanted to make sure they got rid of something so we can go ahead and get something new. But we also do that with clothes. When my youngest daughter grows out of clothes, I give them to one of my nieces. And then if um, for some stuff we end up donating. So that's definitely a big one. Practice the one in one out rule. So I would love to hear your feedback and leave a comment. Do you practice any of these organizational tips? The one in one out rule. Do you help delegate responsibilities? What digital tools are you embracing to make life easier? What is your cleaning routine? And of course, how do you streamline meal planning? Leave a comment below, share this with another mama. Um, this particular episode, if you know that that mom's house needs some streamlining, whatever that looks like, um, even if she's mentioned that in the past, like she's always, let's say for instance, she's like, I never know what we're gonna eat. We always eat pizza for dinner or something like that. Send this to her. I'll include some links, um, like for the Rachel Cruz show, making sure um, the Clean Mama IG page, I can also include that. If you have something that you want to share, again, leave the comment so we'll be able to share that with other mamas. And as always, remember that me time is essential and it is never selfish. Have a great organized week, mama.